Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Jose Lara. Welcome to Jose Loves Flutter. I'm very excited to introduce a new project I'm taking on, which is making a TikTok clone using Flutter for the front end. We're going to use Firebase for the back end, the user objects, the database and all that. And we're going to use Amazon S3 for the video, uh, for where we're going to store the videos. So here's what we're going to cover in this project. I really want to get in this interface and this way of displaying videos I think is very cool, very important. We're going to get user objects and uh, user videos involved. And once we finish all that, depending on the level of interest from the public, we might involve a video camera input with uh, filters and uh, all the different stuff that TikTok might have involving music as well. Compiling all that probably going to require using C++ to get all that working in a performant manner. So that's what the project is going to involve. Here's going to be the breakdown. First, we're going to be involving the UI. Then we're going to be involving state management. And then we're going to get started involving the back end. So let's get started. So let's get started looking at the layout, uh, the folder structure. Everything's going to be taken up on the next video. Right now, I just want to give uh, the structure of what we have for the main layout for the home tab. So if we go over to TikTok, to the TikTok app once again, we can start describing what everything does. So we have our main method. We have a TikTok clone stateless widget, which is going to be at the root. At the top, we're injecting our providers. We're going to take, uh, we're going to make a whole series uh, of videos describing how this is done and why it's done this way. Then we have our material app here. Uh, none of these items here, title, uh, theme data are being used currently. Home view is, um, you know, is the topmost item. And here we have our scaffold with a black background color and a padding at the top that gives us this space over here. So any device that you have might have like a notch or a hole punch or, or a toolbar that we can get uh, by utilizing media query of context and view padding that top and that's how we get the top value. So that's what we have for the padding. We have that at the top. And as a child of that, we have a page view which differentiates the uh, content, which is all of this entire page with the uh, user info page. So that's we have a page view with the scroll direction axis that horizontal. That's how we know it's not going to be a vertical page view like this one. It's going to be a horizontal one. So um, what that looks like in our application is this. We have um, we have these two sections here. The user profile is yet to be built and pretty much everything's yet to be built. Um, so inside of content here, what is required in order to get this UI is we have to have a stack meaning that our items will be placed on top of each other. So unlike a row, which would give us items next to each other like this, or a column, which would give us items next to each other um, vertically like this, a stack will allow us to put them on top of each other. So you can see this widget being on top of the video. That's what the stack allows us to do. So we do fit stack bit, stack fit that expand and that makes every item in the, in the stack by default take up um, the entire space of the scaffold of the stack. So we have our main content layout and what that is, is anything that scrolls up and down is going to be part of that main content layout. So because the bottom navigation bar and the top items are just kind of, uh, stacked on top and are stationary, they're not part of this main content layout. So if you go into the main content layout, currently we have a page view axis that vertical and that allows us to swipe up and down. Um, and we have a list that generate five of index. So that's going to allow us to currently we're mocking just five items. If we go to the page we created here, we have five items that we're, uh, we can swipe back and forth to. Um, and then, um, so then we have our content view is what it's called. In the future, we're gonna, in the next video, we're gonna be building all of this from scratch so you can watch alongside. And what this has currently is, um, we're just clipping a full screen video widget. Um, clipping is what allows us to create this edge that we see at the top and at the bottom over here. If we go to our app, we can see this uh, 
this curvature there at the top and at the bottom. Um, so that's what we we can do utilizing clip.rect, passing it a border radius circular of 8. And then as a child, we have a full screen video, which allows us to create a video and loop it through. You can see the code here is very brief. We're going to explain that in a, in afterwards. We're going to have an, our own video for that. And we also created some side actions and video info mock stuff here just to kind of show. You know, they're very rudimentary currently. But this is what it would look like. Here would go the profile picture, the the different actions you can take, and, and then we, we would have the description with a the marquee there. The marquee is uh, this section over here is a text that, you know, swiping from left to right, creating a little bit of motion. Um, we're going to spend some time creating that. So that's it for this video. Just a quick demo and introduction as to what the project is going to look like, what my uh, style is going to be for teaching. And uh, obviously, we're going to pay a lot of attention to make sure this looks beautiful and it's responsive so that when you make this app and you uh, and you do it in the way that I'm doing it, then you can be that much more confident in your future projects that you're making them in a proper, quick and modularized manner. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure to let me know how invested you are because uh, there's a lot of possible projects I can take on at any second. And um, this does not give me any money to create these projects. So uh, what's fueling me is that the people have been asking for uh, tutorials. So um, if, you, if you want to see more of this, make sure to vote for it, utilizing your voice, your likes, your subscribes, all that. Thank you so much. Have a good day.